well, here we are. Um, we're at uh, my mate Wayne's place. I've known Wayne for a few years, and this is his own little personal men cave collection. Um, he does up wall mails and outboards and just a little hobby that he's got. Some nice work here. So tell me how you got into all this. Why? Oh, I just was fishing one day and I met this bloke. We started talking and he showed me the pictures of the Victor 18 lawnmower that he had just done up. And I said, oh yeah, that looks all right. So when I went home, I had a look on Gumtree and there was one for sale a couple of suburbs away. So I went and bought it and just grew from there. Yep. And how many years ago was that? Oh, five. A few years, wasn't it? Yeah. Five years. Yeah, well, I'm, uh, for people who don't know, I'm in Brisbane and Wayne's in Sydney, and uh, I've been following some of this stuff on Facebook. Pretty impressed with the workmanship that Wayne does. It's just a bit of a, like I said, it's a bit of a whole hobby, you know? So this is a what sort of model we've got down That's here. It's uh, Victor 18. Built for Maya, it's a Maya special. Uh, you can tell by the red base and yep. no Victor markings whatsoever. It's blanked out here, the Victor. Yeah. Whereas you'll see on other on other mowers, they have the Victor badge in the yeah in the boomerang, the Victor riding. That's right. And for those people who don't know, Aussies um, invented the mower back in the 50s, wasn't it? 1952. Yeah. Mervyn Victor Richardson. And then they sold out to Pope, wasn't it? To uh, later on? Uh, Sunbeam. Dick Johnson fan. Yep. Also Tigers. Yep. Tiger's jersey. Good drawing there. Yeah, I got that for my 50th birthday. Well, what do you gave you that? Yeah, I wonder. For people who know what I do, that's what I do. You see you've got chainsaws up the top? Yeah, the, the one on the right at the end is a Victor Petrol, and yep. um, the other two are electrics. Oh, probably, yeah. probably from the 70s, 80s. Yeah, around the greenage. With that retro orange colour. Also got a few fuel cans in the shelf there. Yeah, just as I see a Victor one, I don't really collect them, but as I yeah. see them, I just, I grab them. Oil bottle. If they're in good nick. So what's that green? Is that an edger or a... Can't quite make it out. Yeah, that's a... That's a jet fast edger. Oh, okay. Yep. With a Victor 18 engine in it. Yep. On it. And then the silver with the blue handle, it looks pretty modern. That one? Yeah. Yeah, that's just a uh, kid's... Toy. Kids, uh, professional. They bought out a Victor Kids toy range, and um, so I just grabbed them. Yeah. And um, I don't know, in 50 years' time, they'll be collector's items. Yeah, for sure. That's the uh, whipper snipper there. Oh, yeah, yep. Yeah. And leaf blower. Yeah. And the chainsaw down the bottom. Yeah, There's also the little shovels. Oh, yeah. And I've got to find the Victor ah. Rake and the Victor Wheelbarrow okay. to finish. The yeah. What about, tell us a story about the Victor stuff that you're a Victor? Oh, yeah, these here. I Sweet one, right? yeah. 
Mr. Victor um, sent you some freebies. Yeah. Oh, that's good, good eh? The Victor shirt. Yeah. The Victor hat. hat. Yep. These arrived on Christmas Eve. And just a letter from Victor. Yep. Yeah, you can't really see it in a minute. Can't read it, but yeah, we get it, yeah, Briggs and Stratton. Oh, just, you know, we hear you're a big Victor fan. Yeah. From yep. your mate, and hope these little goodies will put a smile on your face. Merry yeah. Christmas. Yeah. Which was nice. It really is. Mm. Oh, what else we got over here? We've got a, for people who are old enough to know, we've got a telephone. Not much room in here, there's only a little room in his house and a little man cave. There's a the old 70s, probably early 80s, ready for payphone. Yeah, I picked that up. Some guy was selling it and I spruced it up. Reconditioned it all with stickers and. Yeah. Paint. Yeah, it looks good. Cleaned it all up. Found some um, phone books. Yeah. Yeah. Sydney Residential. Yeah. Very nice. I don't get phone books anymore. They'll be a collector's no. item one day. Exactly. Yeah, so what have we got here? Little. This one here? This one? Yep. That's a Victor Trimalorn. Trimalorn. Yeah, they're imported from America and just rebadged as Victor. And they've got a, like a whippersnipper. It's, it's, it's a whippersnipper on wheels. Yeah. Wow. And all your Victor stuff down here looks like a little display. Yeah, some uh, new old stock. Yeah. Parts, Victor Sprinkler, Victor Sprinkler. Mmm. Uh, Victor Shears. Hmm. Badge over the back there, funnel. Yeah, that's off the old automatic. Bolts for the um, blades. And Victor, Victor spark plug. Hmm. You've got everything. Yeah, anything branded Victor I try and grab yeah, because yeah. they're not around it. Well, they're no, still around, right. but yeah. it's, it's not like the old days. Yeah, like, yeah. A few Victor key rings. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, yeah. It's good. Very good. Plugs down the next shelf down. Yeah, new off stock plugs. Pretty old. A few sprinklers down the bottom there. Yeah, I collect sprinklers as well. Yeah. Australian made ones. Yeah. And we've got more outboards. Yeah, these are a old ones. Japanese oh, okay. engine. Taz Tanaka. Oh, okay. But the leg on them is uh, Australian made in Brisbane. Hmm. Or Cheris Industries. Oh, yeah, this is Tanaka. Badge there. So there's this three Seahawks. And this one's a Tasman, it's got a different Different leg. Leg, yeah. This Tasman was made by Easy Cut. Yeah. You're a mob that, you know, the keys, you just look at oh, the yeah, keys right. Easy yeah. Cut. Yeah. yeah. Same company. Oh, okay. So in the old days, a lot of companies had their finger in more than one pie. Yeah. And you built the, um, the frame that they're all sitting on? The stand, yeah, I've yeah, done all the stands. Improvise, yeah. Out of Work, uh, horses. Uh, just saw horse and yeah, yeah, a bit of timber, right? yeah. And at the back, it's all the model cars you've had for a while. Yeah. Little drawing here, looks familiar. Yeah. Flag. Pick the flag Pick in the, the flag, corner. yeah. All the cars again, I'm just sort of going across and down. The V8 fans, there's some older V8 supercars. 
And this here is a, it's a factory reboard barrel. With new piston. Wow. And rings. Hmm? From Victor. That's the box there. Wow. They come in. I'll have to have a look at your um, One of these just sold on eBay for about $300. Hmm. Oil bottles. Bottles. <coughs> Excuse me. Not the dreaded stuff. What that looks your cutaway engine. Far between now. Oh, yeah. And worth big dollars too. Yeah. Yeah, just a rolling frame with no paint, mm. nothing. A rip seat goes for about 900 bucks. Oh. Well, isn't it? This has been fully restored a while back. Yeah. The Not one. by you? No, no. Yeah. 160 engine. Just a little bit squeezy in here, viewers. Trying our best to get us some nice film on. Just <coughs> tell you the, um, the guard dog. The guard dog. <coughs> What's up, Teddy? That's a Rotomo, an original with original paint. Oh, okay. All has been done as clear coated. Yeah. Hmm. Very good. Okay, Steve Palmer, a copy yeah. of the Victor 18. Hmm. Some more outboards. Yeah, Victor powered. Okay, we might go and have a look at the cutaway. There's the cutaway of the Lamar power plant. 125. Very good. Where'd you score that from? Oh, a guy on one of the mole pages. Yeah. It turns and shows you how the piston moves yeah, and yeah, uh, yeah. how your electrics come in with the flywheel spinning around the magnets and causing a gives a spark to your plate. Yeah. Right. Very good. Good teaching tool for the. Yeah, they use them in, in the TAFE, a lot of the TAFEs. Yeah, what's, yeah. It's good. Don't see them much. No. I'm very lucky to get that. Yeah, for sure. Hmm? I tidied it all up and made the stand. Yeah. That's good. Well done. So here we are looking at Wayne's um, train set. Many hours of love and attention to detail went in. So, did you build this from scratch? I can't remember. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I thought you did. Very good. This is in the other room. That looks good. And how often do you give this a run? Because it's not running at the moment for repairs. Oh, just every winter. It's a winter project. Yeah. When it's too cold. Outside? Yeah, I see it. Uh, been doing it for 18 years. <laughs> it's good, eh? Soccer game going? Or football, depending on what? What part of the world you're living? Yeah. I see it. Ooh.
So it's work in progress, or it's just about finished, or? Uh, Hard to say. Yeah, it's... Just whenever. It's, it's more than three quarters done. Yeah. I've got to finish up here, get some, like the ghost train and uh, oh, mirror yeah. maze buildings. Yeah. And do something down in here. I don't know what I'm going to do down in yeah. here. Hmm. And I need something here like a, I don't know, a bus terminal or yeah. something like that. A bus. Bit of an accident, was he? No, they're just waiting to find a place. <laughs> Where to go? I thought they might have been demonstrators or something. No, they'll, they'll be up here at, walking into the rides or something. Up the top there. <laughs> a few little ladies of the night. Oh, really? On the, on the telegraph poles. There. Oh, no. Not, not real good for your reputation. No. Hmm. Tunnel. Circus. Hmm. And the bridge joins to the other side of the oh, yeah. circus. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. That's good. Right, we'll go to the next. Could I um could I offer you a an M and M or a Skittles, Terry? Oh yeah, down at the back there. That's right, we forgot about that. I hope you bought your twenty cent coins with you. <laughs> Did you take card? No. No, it's old fashioned. Yeah. Okay, so now we're at Wayne's work preparation area. This is where all the good work starts. And he's got some scooter in pieces up the top of that shelf there. And here's one he's prepared earlier. And this is the one I'm doing at the moment. Yep. It's probably 1940s, this one. Really? Yeah. It'd probably be the first, if not the first. Yeah. First or second. Is that model scooter Cyclops mate. I'm gonna say Cyclops, yeah. Yeah. That's the Cyclops. Yeah. That's a wheel for it. Oh okay, yeah, the old steel wheels. This is the front. I've already sprayed prepared that and sprayed it. Yeah. Yeah. And you can see on this, it's not one weld. Yeah. It's all riveted. No worlds whatsoever. Just like the Harbour Bridge, it probably. No rubber grip mat. No. Just indents to yeah. stop the kick foot slipping off. Yeah. The front and all that, the back wheels and all that, they're all held on by these rivets. Yeah, like the Harbour Bridge. With, um, what do you call them, split pins? Yeah. Wooden handle. Okay. Yeah, I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And this one here is the blue and 19, the other one. 1980s. 80s vintage, yeah. yeah. It's a bit rough, but that's how I bought it. Yeah. But it's going to be stripped down. Back to pretty much bare metal yeah, and bare repaint. Metal. Bare metal. Do the wheels, the yellow yeah. on the rims, and the, and the plastic plate there. Yeah. Try and get this. Back to chrome. Yeah. Hopefully it, he didn't rub it back, he just yeah. painted over it. There's silver frost. Go and buy the rest of it. He, he, he hasn't rubbed it back anyway because it's just too, yeah. too well, bumpy. We, won't, well, we can show the viewers. You can see the roughness in there. Yeah, that, that it's a 10 foot one. pay job. 10 foot looks really good. That back one. So this one really shows it up. Get the reflection on it. See the brush marks. Yeah, it wasn't much prep work to it, was he? No, but the guards were good. Yeah. Yeah, they're exactly. Half done the job. Hmm? Amazing. 
Keeps you busy anyway, doesn't it? Yeah, there's a couple more outboards in, oh, yeah. in the queue. In the queue. And another Tanaka. Oh, okay. That's the lawnmower. Yep. They're only about 37cc then. Yeah? Hmm. Is this? Hmm. Is that a Victor 18 handle up there? Up on the wall? Yeah. Yeah. Just a bit of wall art. Yeah. There's another one down again. Then you've got all your advertising signs and what what have you. And then you got your old fuel cans and a couple of number plates. Yeah, a few of them are re reproductions. I'll just oh, okay. make up myself. Oh yeah. The well that's what you do. The golden fleece one. Really? They're worth about $2,500. Huh? I can't afford that. No. So I just bought an $8 sticker off eBay and dressed yeah. up a can. Yeah. Well, I do that sort of stuff with my speedway signs and, and, and what have you. The tuna, rust running down them. They're a lot cheaper than the real deal. And, and the ones I make are totally custom, as in you can't buy them anywhere else. And these sprinklers down here, they're in, they're in line. To, Oh, okay. To be done and move inside. But... Yep. It's a little bit dark, but that's okay. And you've got another outboard that's here. That's a pretty seagull. Pretty seagull. The diamond doesn't, that's why it's out here. It's all locked up. Yeah. It's just seas. Kind of something, something. Yeah, okay. So it's garden art. You got the old air pole sign. Yeah, that's a reproduction too. Yeah. Now only sounds like seagulls, but they're uh, cockatoos, I think. <laughs> Looking at seagulls. Yeah, no, that's good. Hmm. Okay, so now we're at the front of Wayne's garden. Which is very nice too. But the uh, centerpiece of the garden is. Now old Victor 18, what's left of a Victor 18 is it? That's an 18? Yep. So when, they, when, the when they get old and locked up and instead of sending them to the scrap metal yard, they're too good for that. Yeah. Well, I just mm -hmm. stick them in the garden. Yeah. Well, I do that with vehicles these days. Yeah. Cross down vehicles and trucks and that. That's good. Very good. Have a talking piece. Yep. Right, so another string to the burrow, to the man cave. Yep. I don't believe this is brand new. No, 1983. 1983, posted by. Never been ridden. Never been ridden. Look at it, brand new. So how did you manage to school that? Wow. Oh. Saw oh, some yeah. guy was selling it. Ooh. He actually knew the postman. Really? Yeah, it was a New South Wales country town. So the postman probably pinched it. No, no, he he, it was a new. <laughs> it was his new delivery, but he liked his old bike better, so oh, okay. he just kept using the old one. Oh. Hmm. Tool kit. Yeah. It's a punch repair kit. Yeah. But the thing is that they didn't come out with a pump. Oh really? Yeah. Hmm. Old Australia Post logo. It's good. Very good. Which that creates a bit of chat when you have people come around? Yeah, I've only just got it. Oh, okay. So it's all riveted, no welts. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, there's a few welts in, in other spots, but... Yeah, all that stuff. But all the early stuff was riveted. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Very good, looks good. Well, I think that's about it, unless you can think of anything else. So 
So um, we'll probably call it uh, quits for now and on behalf of the channel just want to thank Wayne for letting us invade his privacy in his man cave, showing off all his, all his uh, collection of different things. And that's what this channel is all about, it's just a uh, man cars, cars, whatever, whatever could be interesting. So thanks again Wayne and um, keep going. Yep, no worries. Right. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you on the next one.